Statua Ajimai, Dubai on July 19, 2022. A video from the incident shows young men with matches cursing havoc in the neighborhood at night. They broke the side windows of a car, destroyed other properties and chased after innocent residents. Hooligans have been arrested by Dubai police and warned that the country will not tolerate the breakdown of law and other in one of the most visited countries in the world. Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. If you are just joining me for the first time, my name is Prince Lucky and I bring you updates on my life as a Nigerian in the UAE. Um, if you're just joining me for the first time, thank you for joining. Please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell to get more updates. Okay, so, oh, for my returning subscribers, I love you, I love you, I love you all. Thank you very much for always watching me. Um, I'll go into the issue of today. Um, I'm just giving an update on what's happening about the Nigerian um, immigration system and the visa. As we all knew earlier last month, um, the UAE government placed a ban on about 19 country, African countries plus Dominican Republic, making 20 countries we wish they placed ban on. So it happened that uh, Nigeria happens to be one of the 19 <coughs> African countries. Well, the ban was for a month for other African country. But in Nigeria, it's remained. So after the one month, what they did was they were kind of flushing our people that were on overstays. They 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 wanted the the the, the they wanted to check out their system, and that, to me, it's not a bad thing, because. The, the uh, UAE is one of the best going faster economy, has the 15th strongest passport in the world. So, and they are, also, I think they are like the third um, country with um, a notch for peace. So they want their country to still remain that high standard, whereby people of different caliber can come into their country and develop their economy. Because basically, UAE, um, they, 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 they are into the, t the level of tourism in UAE is standard. So basically, UAE also survives on tourism. So it's, uh, it's, it's, um, it's agreeable that they will want to checkmate some of the happenings that is happening in their country. A whole levels of um let's say i don't know if i will call it propaganda or street news has been leveled against a country especially nigeria in which the, um, the issues of 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 crime rates has been um uh, the issue of, uh, uh, of crime rate has been linked to most of nigerian nationals although it can be all agreed that if you're a black person here in the uae Subsequently, they will, they will tame you as in as in Nigeria. People in UAE knows that. I'm not even in UAE. In the whole world, if you are black, black American, black British, no matter who you are, even though you are Haiti, you are Jamaica, if you are not speaking, to that the difference of your intonation to tell that you are not a Nigerian, you will be tamed as a Nigerian because Nigeria is motherland. So of recent. Um, the police has swung in action together with the Department of Police of Nigeria, Nigerian Police. Nigerian Police together with the UAE Police have been working hand in hand to flush out the issues of overstay, the issues of crimes and all the happiness. Um, therefore, a, a, month, a month and a half back, previously, some months ago, um, a group of courts clashed in Dubai and it was the popular Aye and Aye court. So it happens that there was loss of life and destruction of property and also disturbance of peace of the community, which was not taken lightly in the UAE. Apart from that, there have been also issues of, of human trafficking, which is in quote prostitutions, and also that with attributed to Africans, not just Nigeria. It's rumored and said that um, the Uganda nationalities have the highest um, populations of prostitution followed by the Nigerians so they will try to like to bring it down because most of these acts are against the, the Arabian laws so it is relatably that they want to do what is justifiable what is what what can be justified by their own own laws 
and in this happening that affected tons of Africans that came into this country with a three month visa to look for a job. Right now, they, they, they banned um, the visas whereby you can't come into the UAE with a three month visa. Subsequently, they changed laws whereby they have a work visa which is more easier to get, but right now it is not being issued to the Nigerians. I saw, an, I saw a post on my WhatsApp, um, one of those typing center, which I have their number, posted that all visas are going through for all countries except Nigeria. That is prejudice, that is wrong, that is preposterous, that is wrong. You singling out a particular country, it's wrong. That's what I'm going to say. It's wrong. The other countries that we are singled out, the other 18 country or let's say 19 country, we are actually pardoned and their visas, their visas did not um, extend the one month and decided giving them visas. But Nigerians since the time of the ban has not gotten a visa. When asked all the, 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 the reasons for all these happenings, it was said that um, the Nigerian government owed Dubai government a whooping amount of monies, which I will not quote because I'm not really sure about the round figure. I think it's a 20 billion because of repatriation fees uh, and flight and everything. So it happens that most times when you are being repatriated to the country, your country, the government of your country is held liable. So it happens that we really have repatriated a lot of Nigerians and the Nigerian government is yet to sort them and other legal stuff. And the Nigerian government have told them that let's okay, give us some time. The money has been released out to the aviation but it is yet to be deposed to the other countries involved because it's not only the UAE and the UAE has taken it um, harder and actually placed bans on Nigeria as in retrospect the Nigerian government has in return has actually um, one of the Nigerian most popular flights, the Airpiece, also placed a ban on the UAE government not to allow any of their Emirates airlines or any of their flights to land in Nigeria so it has been a tug of war and the Nigerians that are in Dubai has been caught in the middle. Right now you won't see a Nigerian walking around the street anyhow. No, because everyone is scared. There have been rumors that if you're being caught with your inmate ID, it doesn't matter if you are at the wrong place at the wrong time, your inmate ID can actually be collected from your hand, broken and used to be sent back home. These are kind of rumors and a lot of tension and you know rumors bring tension. So with all these happenings at all, um, they have been having a little bit of good news. Before, prior to this time, um, the work permit for Nigerians was not going through. But right now, um, the work permit is going through. I mean, work renewal is going through. If you have a visa before and your visa is finished, you can tell you can go to Tashel with um, police reports and you can get a visa renewal. That's just a light in the tunnel, but. The main thing is there are other Africans here in Nigeria that have been put in overstays and other dilemma because of this issue. So we just beg on and plead to the government of both countries to come together to sit and make an agreement to the citizens of this country, because some are residents of my citizens, to enjoy something profitable. So thank you for watching this vlog of mine. That is just my own um I don't know that's my own quote and and what's happening that's a brief a, a short analysis a summary of what i've seen so far in the uae um i know different people have different opinions i hope this rundown can let you know what happens what's happening in the uae please like this video subscribe share for more vlogs it's encouraging okay thank you